<laughs> All right, so today we're going to be teaching you how to light a fire. The first step in the process is knowing how to light a match. So what you want to do, you're going to take your match. Uh, the method I use is I put my pointer finger on the this, this tip. That way I have a, uh, a surface to work with. And then you just strike hard like that, and it lights pretty easy. All right, so now Anthony's going to light a fire. Uh, so you need like uh, tinder and kindling. So with some of these look really like thin uh, pieces of uh, wo uh, sticks, he's going to try to light that on fire with the matchstick. And now once one of it lights uh, gets on fire, it's going to spread to the others. And eventually you should get a bunch of it on fire like that. And that was only one match, right? So now he's going to use more tinder and kindling to feed the fire. So that catches on to the other tinder and kindling, which, which will then spread to the big logs that are surrounding it. And then you use um, these sticks and you kind of make a lean-to off the crossbar, cross piece. Yeah, crossbar. And then, yeah, and this helps with airflow. And this, all right, so once you get all, all the middle part on fire, it's gonna eventually spread to the crossbar, so then spread to the legs of the egg yeah that's how you get a fire uh, so what anthony is doing now is he's providing oxygen and oxygen is an important part for fires because the more oxygen you have the better and getting a higher better fire said. what are the three things needed in a fire harshal yeah what mark said no, <laughs> I'm asking you harshal oh, what are the three what, things what needed the, in we need um oxygen and <laughs> right, so oxygen, heat, and fuel. And fuel. <laughs> so the oxygen oh, okay. Anthony just blew, oh, and the oxygen around us. The fuel is the wood, and the heat what well, came from the match and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, all right. So now you see how everything's spreading. That's eventually gonna get the the crossbar. It's gonna catch on fire now. Right here. I mean, like these logs. And by the way, you should always have a fire bucket yep. as shown right over there. Here you go, snow bucket. Yeah, anything Just that in case fire. anything bad happens and when we need to take and the fire out. You guys only use three matchsticks. Anthony did with only one. So you guys should be able to do with three. No, what? Um, all right. Oh, so now it's catching. And eventually, since there's enough tinder and kindling, it's going to catch all of it on fire. So remember to bring like a bunch of tinder and kindling because you're going to need uh -oh. it. Yeah. Uh -oh. So for the A-frame, you need a bunch of tinder and kindling to create a lean-to. And we have like two bags of tinder and kindling because once it catches on fire, you need more uh, tinder and kindling to feed the fire. Okay, right? Good. Something like this. Like thin. No, no green. No. Uh, thin sticks. No, you don't want the green part. Just the wood part because uh, that's dangerous, apparently. Yeah. Uh... No, it just doesn't bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Anyways you need you? stuff like this, and you need a bunch of this, because once mm -hmm. this, a, a, a small portion of this catches on fire, you need a bunch more to feed the fire, because you need fuel for a fire. That's it. All right, so That's this is how to take out a fire using a uh, fire yeah, bucket. It's snow in here. Normally you use water. You can even use sand or something, and then you just... Let's put it on the fire. All right, well, she was just spread it out and stuff, but, <laughs> but yeah, well, don't stick your hand in the fire like that. But. Don't do what he did and don't do what he did. Spread out the water or snow so that you get everything on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, if you have, if you have, let's get a close up fine. of this man talking. Right? If right, you have, on all seriousness, though, I hope you guys understood how to light a fire. If you guys have any questions, go always ask us. Um, that's about it. <laughs> yeah. So this is a trail stove or a backpack stove. It's meant to be used when you're like hiking on a trail or yeah, that's pretty much it. But um, what's going to come inside? Portable. Yeah, basically, portable. Yeah, basically when you don't have access to a camp stove. I don't think it stands up, Marshall. Oh, yeah. No, oh, it, it, does. it does. It does. I'm just using it better, I guess. To. How are you going to light it? Does it? All right. So these are the three things that come in the bag. This is the stand that goes on top of the burner. The burner is going to go on top of the fuel source. So what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, my blind. One sec. 
Yeah, it's, I know. I tried the first time. Okay. Yeah, you pull you the open cap that off up. the propane tank. And then you wanna, so there's gonna be three of these, uh, I don't even know what they're called. Blades. Holders. Just say blades. Bases. Fins. Base, fins, fins blades, bases. whatever. Something. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this and you're just gonna, screw it on. There's gonna be a hole, and there's gonna be uh, like a plug type thing, and you're gonna screw it in. I know. Let's see, open. Do so you wanna open up the stand? And this actually goes on the bottom. So you wanna put that down. Oh, this is for the floor for now. And then. That's the whole thing, guys. It's a spring thing. <laughs> Pull it back. I know I was, and, and then you put that on top. Talking to me. Hold on to it. Uh, I'm stay back. I'm gonna stay back. It's oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, relax. What? No. Oh, okay, yeah. Push it and then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you saw that, yeah. like, there's a plastic bit right there that, like, pulls it, clamps it into place. That way it doesn't fall. This part doesn't fall. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Are you trying to. Is that part, Herschel? He's gonna. This so now he's like, <laughs> he's, he's turning it. Propane. So it's, the more you turn it, obviously the more gas is going to come out. That is the propane. Let's, let's um, get the fan, match the fan. Okay. Then. then use the proper match lighting method. <laughs> As described in the first guide. Ready, Oh, that was that one. Whoa, okay. whoa. Okay, okay. And that's you can how see you that use it. Lit. And then you just put your pot or pan or whatever on top of it. Alright, so it's okay. Disassemble it. Yeah. So first thing, what I usually uh, do, because this, be very this, this top part's usually hot. Yeah, that's gonna be hot. So don't do it immediately. So you let it cool off. Yeah, you let it cool and off. And you basically do the uh, process in reverse. Yep. You put your stuff back in the bag. I wait for it to cool down. Are you going to put the snow on the If thing? it's going to cool it down. It's not hot. It's not hot. It's not hot. No way. No, no. Hard, no, hard, no. Hard, no. Whoa, whoa. Relax, bro. <laughs> What's its point to do it? All right. Now, close it like that. And then put that back in the bag. Grab your cap. Put the cap on. What? Stop the cow. Continue, continue, oh. continue. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even touch it. <laughs> you just toss that back in the bag and bada bing bada boom, you're done. <laughs> now you know how to cook <laughs> on a trail. Facts. <laughs> All right, well, let's get the stove. <laughs> That's a proper camp stove. Um, Yeah. All right. Big so boy stove. These two things, I hope you open it. Once it's open, there's uh these two things fins I guess you want to kind of hook it onto this and that's gonna help this stand up and you need this to stand up because if it didn't stand up then that wouldn't be convenient that's not connected oh my okay now you have all this and you have to take this part out this part is gonna connect to your propane tank and you need propane to light a fire or for this at least. To fuel your stove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not use propane to light a fire. <laughs> <in real life. laughs> not not a good idea. Okay, should I put this in properly? So right now he's just plugging in so that pipe. This part, stick that in and then screw it. We gotta put some force apparently. Yeah. I, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> then you take Wait, is this in? Yeah, it's in. Yeah, it's in, it's in. It's in, it's in. Okay, okay, making sure. And you stick that in and you screw it. Is it this way or is it the other way? Uh, you're right. You're right. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Righty tighty. Um, All right, once yeah, it's yeah. fully tightened and you you know it's working, you can come over here. All right. So like the uh, portable thing, same thing. You have the knobs, which, is, which will increase or decrease the flame. So in order to start the flame, there's supposed to be something else. Yeah, cool. You turn that first and then that's the igniter. Okay, yeah. Just make it sure. Turn, turn on the gas. So you turn on the gas first. Yeah, so that's hissing. Start the fire. Alright, uh, just do that again. Again? Yeah, do it again. Okay, now there's no gas. Turn on the gas. The hissing, that means gas. And then push the button. 
that's the button. So if that button isn't working and you hear gas coming out, just use a lighter to light it because or the uh, yeah or a match. I would recommend a lighter; it's more safe because it probably means that the button's not working. Yeah, and you don't want the gas to just be gas for too long. Yeah. So if if you are grabbing a lighter, turn the gas off, mm -hmm. come back, turn it back on, yeah. and then light it. Um, but yeah, and then to close it, you first get rid of all the gas. Then you want to unscrew this. Get another scalp or someone to help you. That way you know it's like proper. Oh, shit. Any day today. I'm trying to take it out. It's not coming out. Alright, and then the same thing with this part. Okay, well, something didn't work. Oh, you got it. It's just in there. Cool. So it's good that it's tight. That means it's secure. <laughs> and then you stick it right back under it. So that doesn't, so that you don't lose that. And you take this, uh, alright, so you're supposed to let this cool down and stuff. But just for demonstration purposes, you close this. Make sure that you sides. also clean the uh, yeah. stove yeah, before yeah. you do it. After you done cooking, clean it. Yeah. And then you don't want like the next person who's using it. Close it. it. Alright, it's locked. Cool. That's how you use it.